Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now look, we all know that poverty exists, right? It's that thing we see in the sad parts of commercials asking for spare change. But the reality is poverty is far more complex than just a lack of money. Over the next 20 minutes, we're going to dive deep into the systemic issues that perpetuate poverty. The invisible walls, the booby-trapped paths, the whole damn obstacle course that makes it feel like climbing Mount Everest with a broken flip-flop. Buckle up, because this is going to be a bumpy ride. Let's start with the one thing we're told is the great equalizer education. Except, when it comes to poverty, it's more like the great divider. Imagine growing up in a neighborhood where schools are bursting at the seams and teachers are working three jobs. They're less likely to have access to quality pre-K and face higher dropout rates. Let's talk about the minimum wage, shall we? That magical number that's supposed to guarantee a decent standard of living. Except here's the punchline, it doesn't. In fact, for many people working full-time jobs, the minimum wage barely covers basic necessities like rent and food. It's like being stuck on a giant hamster wheel, running and running but never actually getting anywhere. If you're struggling to make ends meet, where do you turn? For millions, the answer is payday loans and other forms of predatory lending. These financial sharks prey on desperation offering quick cash with sky-high interest rates. They trap people in a cycle of debt, draining their limited resources and crushing hope. Chapter four, healthcare. A luxury, not a right. Let's be honest, healthcare in this country is a mess. For those in poverty, it's a disaster zone. Without affordable healthcare, a cold can mean the ER and chronic illness can lead to financial ruin. Imagine choosing between food and medical treatment. It's a system prioritizing profits over people, leaving the vulnerable to fend for themselves. Chapter 5. The Unemployment Black Hole Losing a job can be a stressful experience for anyone, but for someone already living in poverty, it can be absolutely catastrophic. Suddenly, that safety net of a paycheck, however small, is gone. It's a vicious cycle where unemployment often leads to poverty, which then makes it even harder to find stable employment. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? Systemic racism is real and it plays a significant role in perpetuating poverty. Generations of discriminatory policies from housing to education to employment have created a system where people of color are disproportionately affected by poverty. They face higher rates of unemployment, lower wages, and limited access to opportunities. Until we acknowledge and address these systemic issues, the cycle of poverty will continue to disproportionately impact communities of color. Chapter 7. Homelessness. More than just a roof overhead. When we think of poverty, we often picture homelessness. It's families crammed into overcrowded apartments, couch surfing with relatives, or living in cars because they can't afford rent. The lack of affordable housing is a major driver of poverty, forcing families to make impossible choices between keeping a roof over their heads and putting food on the table. Title empty plates, empty stomachs, empty futures, hunger. It's not just a rumbling stomach, it's a gnawing, persistent ache that affects every aspect of your life. For those living in poverty, food insecurity is a daily reality. It's skipping meals so their children can eat, relying on food banks to survive, and making impossible choices between paying rent and buying groceries. Food insecurity isn't just about a lack of food, it's about a lack of opportunity, a lack of hope, and a lack of a future. Chapter 9 Bankrupt by default, locked out of the financial system. Imagine living in a world without access to traditional banking services. No checking account, no savings account, no credit cards. They're forced to rely on check cashing stores, payday lenders, and other predatory services that charge exorbitant fees. This lack of access to financial services creates a vicious cycle of poverty, making it nearly impossible to save money, build credit, or achieve financial stability.
Now, we've all heard about climate change, right? The melting glaciers, the rising sea levels, the extreme weather events. But here's the thing, climate change doesn't affect everyone equally. The poorest communities, both in the US and around the world, are hit the hardest. They're more likely to live in areas vulnerable to natural disasters, have limited access to resources, and lack the financial means to cope with the impacts of climate change. Government policies can either alleviate or exacerbate poverty. Programs like SNAP, TANF, and Medicaid provide a vital safety net for millions of Americans. However, these programs are often underfunded, difficult to navigate, and subject to cuts. On the other hand, policies like tax cuts for the wealthy and deregulation of industries often benefit those at the top while leaving the poor behind. Chapter 13, Trapped by Violence, Poverty's Vicious Cycle. Poverty and violence are inextricably linked. Communities with high poverty rates often experience higher rates of crime, gang activity and violence. It's a vicious cycle that traps families and communities in a web of poverty and violence, making it nearly impossible to break free. Chapter 14. The High Cost of Child Care, A Parent's Dilemma. For low-income families, child care costs can be backbreaking. In many states, the cost of child care exceeds the cost of in-state college tuition. This forces many parents, especially single mothers, to choose between working and staying home to care for their children. The lack of affordable, quality childcare creates a significant barrier for parents trying to escape poverty, limiting their earning potential and perpetuating the cycle of poverty for another generation. Chapter 15, Mental Health, The Invisible Barrier. Mental health issues are often stigmatized and misunderstood, especially in low-income communities. Lack of access to affordable mental health care, coupled with the stress and trauma of living in poverty, can create a vicious cycle. Untreated mental health issues can lead to job loss, homelessness, substance abuse, and other problems that further exacerbate poverty. Substance abuse and addiction are often seen as personal failings, rather than the complex public health issues they are. For those living in poverty, substance abuse can be a coping mechanism for dealing with the stress, trauma and hopelessness of their circumstances. Addressing substance abuse requires a comprehensive approach that includes prevention, treatment and support services. Globalization has led to increased trade interconnectedness and economic growth. However, it has also contributed to rising income inequality, both within and between countries. It's essential to ensure that the benefits of globalization are shared more equitably and that those who have been left behind are supported. In today's digital age, access to technology and the internet is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. However, millions of Americans still lack access to affordable, reliable internet service, particularly in rural and low-income communities. This digital divide creates a significant barrier to education, employment, healthcare, and other opportunities. Natural disasters, such as hurricanes, floods, and wildfires, can be devastating for anyone. However, they disproportionately impact low-income communities, who often lack the resources to prepare for, cope with, and recover from these events. Climate change is exacerbating these challenges, making natural disasters more frequent and intense. Perhaps the most heartbreaking aspect of poverty is its tendency to repeat itself across generations. Children growing up in poverty are more likely to experience the same challenges as their parents, perpetuating the cycle of poverty. Breaking this cycle requires a long-term commitment to addressing the root causes of poverty and providing children with the support they need to thrive. We've covered a lot of ground today and it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the challenges we face. Understanding the problem is the first step towards solutions. Poverty is perpetuated by systemic issues, from lack of access to education and healthcare to systemic racism. Join us next time as we explore solutions, highlight organizations making a difference, and discuss how we can create a more just society. Together, we can make a difference.